Hey guys, this is Tina. Welcome to A Homemaker's Journey. I'm so glad you guys are watching today. Uh, today's recipe, I am going to be making homemade bread. And so I wanted to bring you guys along and show you guys how easy it is to make bread. And I hope that you guys will give this a try. All right, let's get started. All right, so we have 13 ounces of warm water. We're gonna put this in our bowl. The next thing we have is one and a half teaspoons of instant yeast and one and a half tablespoons of granulated white sugar. And we're going to pop that in here. And we're adding the sugar because that gives the yeast something to feed on to get it activated before we put our bread in. But this is instant yeast, so you don't have to proof it. You can just put all your ingredients right in. So the next thing we have is one and a half teaspoons of salt. So normally you would put you would wait to put your salt in so you don't kill your yeast. But since we're going to be just dumping everything in here, we can go ahead and do that. And let me show you the yeast that I'm using. This is Fleischmann's Bread Machine Instant Yeast. And it's quick, it works quick. This dough will rise within an hour and a half and be ready to be shaped and then we will um, pop that in the oven about 30 minutes after we shape it. So let's get started though with our bread flour. So I have a handy dandy container of bread flour because uh, my family likes a little fresh bread. So we have, I'm just gonna do, so I like to fluff this up a little, make the flour real light. This is just another recipe I keep in here and it lets me know what type of flour I have in here. So, and it's very forgiving. So it's three and a half cups of bread flour. That's one, two, three, and this is a half cup measure and a full cup measure. So I just shake that down through that half cup measure. And we'll toss that in. That was the salt that I was telling you guys about. And now we just stir this until it forms into a shaggy ball, which will come together. You will see very quickly. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're just basically trying to get all that flour incorporated in with that water until it starts coming together into that dough ball. And once it's the dough ball, I'll show you what, where we need to be. And then I'm going to put a towel on top of it, cover it and put it in a warm place. I use my microwave and I'll put that in there for an hour and a half so that it will double in size. So this dough is pretty much done. So you see how shaggy it is, it's not perfect. And it's, we've gotten pretty much all of the flour incorporated into that dough. And it's, now, that's really it. So I'm just gonna clean this off. My hands are clean. I'll rest up there. I'll just tuck this all together. You don't have to mess with it much just to get this kind of centered. That isn't even necessary and that's it. So I am going to cover this now with my towel and we will allow it to rise for an hour and 30 minutes and then we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like once it's risen. All right. All right, our hour and 30 minutes is up. Now this is what our bread dough looks like now that it has doubled in size you can see that remember where it was so now what we're going to do is i'm just going to knock it down deflate it and then i'm going to put it on the surface here so i'm going to turn this off for a second so you can see me do that okay so we'll knock this down now i'm just going to take the back of this spoon 
just pull it away from the sides and it's deflating as I'm doing that. So I'm rotating this around. You can see that it's pulling away from that, the container. And I'm going to dust, start dusting this with flour. Open this up, put a little bit of flour. And we're just gonna dust it so that way when we take it out of the bowl, it's not gonna stick to my hands. All right. Can you see that? Okay. It's over here. So I'm just flipping this over. I'm going to try to, I'm going to cut this into two sections. And I'm just rolling this into, let's see what I want. I think I'm going to do it into a circle, just into a round. And then I'm going to take that and just cut that in half here. Equal sides, best you can. Did you guys see though how easy that was for those, for this to come together? Very, very easy. I know you guys can can do this. It's bread flour is what I'm using. Remember, it's the instant rapid yeast for bread machines, and it was the Fleischmann's. So I've got two loaves here. So now I'm going to cover them and allow this to rest for 10 minutes. And I'm going to put it on my baguette form so that I can put them here. And what I will do here, I'm going to stretch them out a little bit more each so that they'll fill in. And I'm going to set my oven to 450 degrees and allow this to start preheating. And I'm using my convection bake, so I'm setting it putting in 450, but it adjusts to 425. And so we'll allow this to rest for the 10 minutes. And I'm gonna, I'll take a break and then I'm going to come back and show you guys how much more flexible the bread is because the gluten is relaxing because I'm not messing with it. All right, we'll come back in a moment after that 10 minutes rest time is up. So our 10 minutes is up. Now we're going to take this off. And I have sprayed my baguette pan. We're going to put them in these two sections, and I've already oiled them uh, with cooking spray. And so now you can see these are a little bit more flexible. So we're just going to extend them out a little bit so that we can have a good, decent sized loaf. Not too stretched out. We don't want them too thin. Put this over here. See this one? It just stretches so nicely. Stretch this guy out a little bit more. All right. Make it pretty even. Try to get it shaped to be consistent. Put this on the bread pan, and I have my oven preheated at 450 and we're going to bake this for 20 minutes or until they're nice and golden brown. So here you guys go. See what it looks like on the pan. Let me show you the depth of it right now. So they're going to rise even in the oven. All right. We'll see you when they're all finished. Allow the dough to rise for 30 minutes before you place it in the oven. And here are our two loaves of bread just came out of the oven. Like I said, they took 20 minutes to make and they came out beautifully. And if you listen, to this, nice and crunchy on the outside and it'll be super soft on the inside. And we'll just slather each one of those slices with some garlic butter and serve it. I'm making some oven fried chicken over here and I'll make a, I'm working on a recipe for that as well. You guys have a blessed afternoon. Give this bread a try and give me a thumbs up. And also subscribe and hit that bell notification button.
so that you can receive all the videos that I post. God bless you.